Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we'll show you how to root the Motorola Droid 2. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for the How to Root the Motorola Droid 2 procedure. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to download the drivers uh, for your phone. So if you have a 32-bit computer, click on this link. If you have a 64-bit, click on this one. Once you've downloaded that, run the program inside and it'll install the drivers. Okay, on the phone, you're going to go to Menu, Settings, Applications, Development. I want to make sure the USB debugging at the top here is checked on. Click OK. And then we go to the next step. Okay, next you need to install the Android SDK. So you can click on our how to set up ADV procedure and follow that procedure until you can see a serial number at the end of step six. Once you can, then you can come back to this procedure and continue. Okay, next you need to download the routing file. So click on the link here to download them to your computer. Okay, once you've downloaded the files to your computer, you're going to right click it and hit extract all. And then in this window, you're gonna hit browse. And then you're gonna go computer. C and click OK. So this way it just shows the C drive right there. Click Extract. And now all of the files should be in your C drive here. So you'll see the files right here on the C drive. Now you're going to plug your phone in via USB. And you'll see mine says it automatically loaded as a mass storage. So we got to change that. Pull down the notification, hit on USB connection. Hit charge only and click OK. Okay, next you need to open a command prompt on your computer. You can do that by clicking on the start menu and typing in here CMD and hitting enter. And this will bring up the black command prompt. Okay, now with the command prompt open, you're going to type the following. Uh, it's written underneath this video on our website, so you don't have to read it from here. And here we go. Okay, so we just transfer all the files to where they need to go on the phone. Then we're gonna do ADB shot. CD. Okay, and then we can go to the next step. Okay, now on the phone, we're gonna leave it plugged in. We're gonna go to the market. We're gonna search for ConnectBot, C-O-N-N-E-C-T-B-O-T, -N -N -E -E one word, and download the free ConnectBot software. And install it. Okay, once it says successfully installed, we're gonna click on that. Then in the drop-down box at the bottom, we're gonna select local. Nickname, we'll just call it local. And wait for it to connect to itself. Okay, then once we have the little dollar sign symbol, we are going to type uh, what's written in the procedure. You're not gonna be able to read it here because it's too tiny, but 
If you look at the procedure, you'll see it. Okay, give it a second to run. Okay, when it's doing this, don't touch anything. It will take a little bit of time. It may look like it's not doing anything, just wait. You should get a forked however many childs. Uh, your number may be different in there, but either way, it should look just like this. If you do, it means it worked correctly. If not, you need to restart over um, and run the rage against the cage hyphen arm five dot bin again. Um, and since we got the forked however many childs, we can go to the next step. Okay, since we got the forked childs, we're gonna type exit and hit enter. And if that doesn't work to close it, just click disconnect. Force close if you have to. Okay, if you get stuck in a screen like this one, just hit home. And then we're gonna reopen connect bot. You just tap this. So tap local up there at the top. And if it worked correctly, you should have a little number symbol where you originally had a dollar sign. This means you have root access and we can continue. Okay, now we have that number symbol, which means we have root. We're going to type in the following. Uh, it's written again on the procedure. You don't have to read it here. Okay, and if it gives you the number symbol again at the end, you can go to the next step. Okay, now you're done, you should be able to hit home. Open your app drawer. Scroll down, and you should see super user permission right there at the bottom. It means you have root access. Okay, now you can either leave your phone like this with root access and use things like Wi-Fi tethering, uh, etc., or you can go to the next procedure, which is linked at the bottom of this procedure, called how to load a custom ROM, which will show you how to load a custom ROM on the phone now that you have root access. Enjoy.